Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm here with Kimberly from The Red Booth. Hi everybody. Welcome. I'm going to show her some of my painting techniques today. She is a bit of an artist herself, so this should be fun. Yes, I've never done this actual style of painting before though, so it's totally new to me. It should be exciting. Exactly. And uh, definitely check out Kimberly's channel, The Red Booth. I'll put the link down in the description. I was on there, what, a couple months ago? Yeah. And uh, we did a fun interview. I was very nervous. <laughs> you, did, you did great. <laughs> but anyways, it was okay. I guess I'm like in my element in my own studio. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, all right. So we're going to get to painting. Awesome. So we are going to do some acrylic pouring. And I figured we use rainbow colors because why not? I agree. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques, which is the tree ring technique. And okay. I show a lot of people this technique because like I said, it's my favorite. So what we're going to do first is we're going to fill the cup about halfway with, um, paint. I like to start with white because remember whatever color you put in first is going to be the color that you pour out last. Okay. So it's kind of, you want to do reverse colors. For my rainbow, I tend to do white and then I'll do a bit of yellow. And then I do blue. So I should do this white then? Yeah. Okay. And try to do semi-equal amounts of each color. Oh, I unscrew the top. It's much faster. Like this. Take oh. The top off. Yeah. <laughs> and then some red. Oh, wow. Otherwise, yeah. you'll be there for that, a long, long Yeah, you're time. right. <laughs> Good tip, everybody. I know, right? I forget to tell people that. And then they're like, why isn't it working? <laughs> I'm like, why does this take forever? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. So, and yellow? Yeah. I mean, you can go in any order you want. Here, hand me the white. Okay. But I do white, then yellow, then blue, then red. That's what I tend to do. And then I'm going to go back to white. And the cup can be deceptive. Like, right now, it looks like there's a lot of yellow, but there's probably not nearly that much. Because it's in the middle, right? Yeah, it's just going up around. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, and there then, goes. Now yours looks like it's full of white. I put some on my thing here. That's okay. Okay. So we're going to go right over it on your thing. This is a canvas. <laughs> uh, canvas, right. Yes. That's what I was, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> on my thingy bobber. Yes. Okay. Oops. And then some red. Okay, a little red here. Is that enough? Yeah, actually, you pretty much have enough paint. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little more red. Mm -hmm. And maybe just a tiny more blue. I think we're good. So, so what? this is acrylic paint. Yes. Cool. And it is mixed with um, something called Floetrol, which is a paint conditioner. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's used by house painters. And then it is, um, and then I add a little bit of water too to get the right consistency. What does the Floetrol make it do? It helps it flow and also maintains the colors and helps prevent it from cracking. It's just like basically to make it more fluid. Cool. Yeah. Uh, while uh, binding, it, it doesn't break down the paint's binders. So. Nice. For the tree ring specifically, mm -hmm. we go in the middle here and pretty much go as slow as you can. And you're going to go in like Just a little circles. circle. Okay. Yeah, so see how those lines are coming out? Mm -hmm. So the slower you get, you go, the more defined your lines tend to be. Okay. And you're just going to pour until your cup is empty. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoops. See, <laughs> she's way more experienced at this. Look at that. Wow. Super cool. Add them to the timer, too. <laughs> Just a little bit. How many videos have you done? I think like 600 Holy or something. Holy. I don't know. I have to check. But wow. I think like 600 ish. You do one every couple of days? Usually one a day. Sometimes I get tired. <laughs> <laughs> Last few days I didn't do one because um, life got the best of me. And it was Easter and all that jazz, but usually daily. That's a good reason. Yeah. Family days and, you know. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of rings going on here. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Still coming out. <laughs> And 
then when you're at the end, I usually put my glove under the, the stream of paint so you don't drip it across. Mm -hmm. And then just take it out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Look Got it. You. You're pro. Okay. Wow. So, Look at the difference that yours is and mine is. That's so you interesting. You had a lot more white, I think. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, but then you're going to just slowly tilt it. And I tend to go kind of towards the corners. Um, but just you're going to go real slow. The slower you get, also, the more your rings will stay defined. If you go a bit faster, then they can get... I feel like I'm going too slow now. Nah. No? There's no such thing other, unless you get bored. Unless you're like, oh my god, I'm boring myself. Because it's going so slow. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Sometimes I'm like, okay, let's just do it. And you can go faster if you want. If you want to go crazy, go crazy. No, no, no. I'm trying to do what you said. Look at that. Whoa. I've got my, my rings are all kinds of messed up, but that's okay. <laughs> Yours looks awesome, though. Like it is no longer circular. I went too fast. Okay, good. There. The only thing you, you do want to watch for is not going too much off in one direction, because then you can run out of paint. Okay. Yeah. But you're okay. fine. So, so I just keep doing this until I cover all the edges, basically? Yeah. yeah, you're doing great. Okay, it's going to drip on me. That's okay. Ah, I got me! Ah. It's bad. <laughs> This looks very yellow. It is very yellow, yeah. I'm surprised that it's this yellow. Well, it can be a little hard to judge how much you're putting in there, you know? Because mm -hmm. your yellow sunk into your white. Mm -hmm. So it was a little hard it to was tell. like a whitey yellow? How much you were putting in there. Okay. So you might have put more than you thought. Okay. And it's so cool. It, yeah, it's working. You got a lot of green. Kind of looks like a peacock's tail. Yeah. There we go. There you go. And then I'm just going to let that dripple down a little in the middle. Okay. <laughs> How's that? This looks good. I did it! <laughs> yeah. So now you set it down. This is like when you went to kindergarten as a kid and then you like got to do awesome arts and crafts, <laughs> except now we're grown-ups. Exactly. Okay, so just put it down? Yep. All right. And then I like to just kind of touch up the edges, any spots I may have missed. Oh, okay. Just it's easier like... when you put it down first. Okay. <laughs> So, you know, you know. so what do you do? You just just take your glove and just touch up any spots it, that were missed. Smudge it over. Yeah. All right. Little tiny bit there and a little bit there. Yep. And check all the sides. Cool. I think my mom would really like this. Nice. Well, it is Mother's Day coming up. Ooh, ooh. There we go. There Perfect you go, Mother's prepped. Day present. You are ready to go. And you can leave it as is, as like an abstract piece. You can also paint things on top of it if you want. Um, Looks cool. Like fish or trees or whatever, you know? Mm hmm Cool. All right, so I'm going to grab the camera, and I'm going to do a close-up of our pieces. I love yours. Yours is beautiful. I like it, too. It's so pretty with it's the red rainbow and blue. Yeah, it's very rainbowy. All right, so we're doing a close-up of Kimberly's here. Very cool. Your lines did come out really good, though. I followed your instructions. Yeah. <laughs> the I like lines the stayed. Over here. That's really pretty. It's like aqua. There's your crazy middle. Mm-hmm. And you got some fun cells coming over over here. That's kind of random. But that's fun. I mean, like the little circles. The little dots, yeah. yeah. They're actually coming through in the yellow, too. Yeah. You can that's very that interesting. Here. That is interesting. Why does it do that? I don't know. It's different weights and different things. It's just the reactions of the paints with each other. All right, here's mine. And it's very, very rainbowy. That's beautiful. Thanks. It's super fun, right? Yeah, it's totally cool. Also super easy, right? Yes. Yeah. It looks like marble and nature. I love it. You know, it's really pretty. Yeah. All right, Kimberly, what do you think of your... Uh, what do you think of your first acrylic pouring experience? Well, I thought it was really fun. I'm glad that you showed me how to keep the lines because I definitely feel like I did accomplish that. Um, and I think that it, I have more understanding for how you should put the colors in and what will come out in the end. And I think it's really cute. And I think I'm going to give it to my mom for Mother's Day. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to check out the Red Booth. You are how many? 
Are you at a thousand or how many away from a thousand? I think we're just a few away. Just a few subscribers away from a thousand. So go get yeah. in there on that first thousand. That's like makes That's right. you a VIP. If you get in there in the first thousand. Then we also are giving away a record player. We're going to do a raffle for the first thousand subscribers. Boom. And actually my show is on television. I'm on YouTube America Network all over the U.S. So when you came on the show, we were broadcasting to 417 cities across the U.S., which was really fun. I Yes. You didn't know? Yeah, I'm super all over excited. the world. Well, you have an amazing, uh, you know, thing going here with your show and your amazing artwork. So it's super cool and exciting. I love the fact that you've made it into something that you can do for a living as an artist. It's really cool. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.